getting online, I had, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I am that vulnerable. I actually... Sorry about that, folks. A uh, bit of an issue. I do apologise. Here we go. I have to re-upload it at uh, one minute, one minute, sorry, one hour, five minutes and ten seconds. I made a mistake uh, and I need to correct it and I get to redo this again. So sorry about that. And this ad is proudly sponsored to you by what is ZS. ZS is coming soon. And as I have stated in other videos, that due to the coronavirus, it will be temporarily delayed due to the fact that we do not want getting the Packers sick. We do not want getting anybody sick. Uh, this video contains information in regard to uh, a few subjects. One, masks. Mask goes for a little while. It teaches you how to make a mask. Um, everything else you'll go through, you'll see throughout the video, different things that I am talking about. One about uh, what I think we should do with our current government. Um, also to the fact that we need to do some quarantining, all subjects here. I think it's up to about 44 is all about the masks. But trust me, you really want to watch the mask section. You don't want to miss it. Uh, you don't want to miss any of this video, especially if you are an Australian citizen. You need to watch this video. And um, yes, you will see the cannabis protester logo throughout the video because uh, that's who I am. This is me and uh, I'm now starting it. I, I... Please watch till the ending. Okay, sorry about the delay folks with getting online. I had, uh, yeah, unfortunately I am that vulnerable. I actually have to have the Red Cross call me each day. So this is to the Red Cross. Thank you very, very much for what you do. You call me every day, you make sure I'm still alive. I appreciate that. Um, and those people that don't know me, yes, I am pretty much in a bad way of health at the moment. And um, unfortunately, yeah, I have a weak immune system and I'm so bad that I seriously have to have Red Cross ring me each day to see that I am still alive and keep and they do a great job, by the way. Absolutely intense job, because I don't want to wind up like them up. And um, those people out there that um, don't understand and don't think that this virus is quite bad, well, it is. It's very bad. It's taking lives, especially in nursing homes, and nursing homes day by day by day by day by day. And people are dropping dead from this virus by day by night. And if we don't start doing about it, this short period quarantine that Donald Trump has done, trying to get everybody out by Easter, Donald, unfortunately you're an idiot by doing that. This has to be a global quarantine. It can't work any other way. It must be the whole world for one time. Everything shut down to stop the spread of the virus. Nothing can move. Everything has to be left. Uh, the only thing that can move is food and emergency food for people that run out. These are the things that the governments need to do and you need to feed the world for 40 days and for 40 nights you're going to need to feed the world because if you don't feed the world people are going to keep on dying and if you don't quarantine everybody people are going to keep on dying and the problem is that when we go out there and we do these things and everything like that yes and today you're just looking at the green screen you're not seeing any fancy stuff behind it or anything like that because there's a lot of stuff on there and the green screen is actually part of this demonstration uh, so i wanted to keep this up now the movie's about the not video the video and this stream is about how to make masks as you can see behind me uh, i know you can't have any get out now the masks what is it? That is a bandana representing my people, by the way. Um, that can be quickly turned that quickly. A little square of material. A little square of material. 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres if it's stretchy. 
If it's not stretchy, I personally go 60 because this one's a wee bit tight. It always is. This is meant for my head. Or you can use any material. Any simple material can be used. Sorry, I've been wearing, I've been wearing this one. And um, yeah, I've wiped up some stuff with it. But I've got to give this one a wash. But this was one of my first ones that I made this morning for the demonstration and I forgot that I made it for the demonstration I wiped up um, my medicine. Unfortunately, I dropped a, a most probably about 50 bucks worth of my medicine. Um, but yeah, it's simple to make a mask. You can use anything to make a mask. 50 by 50 or 60 by 60. Work out what's best for your children. They might need a bit smaller. Um, you can write their names on it and everything. All that is, that's actually not a bed sheet. That's actually material I bought for when I sell stuff. I put them down on this. But if I have to, I will actually use this to make masks. Yeah, I've only got uh, 10 masks left. But see, the um, good thing about when you tie things in a knot, sometimes they're a bit tough. It, um, Make sure that the material you're, you, you use, you can access it to undo it. And you make sure you don't tie it in a stupid knot like I did. Otherwise you'll end up with that problem, <laughs> which I'm gonna have to sort out in the mirror later. Uh, now this is actually, uh, this is how desperate I was to get bandanas. I bought a pretty floral one. Because I don't care, I might be a rough, tough bloke. Get rid of the flowers, turn it inside out because this is how you wear this type. This is a tubular, it's the buffs that they wear on Survivor. That is a tubular version, will turn the inside out because I'm a tough man. And uh, take my glasses off, place it over my head, get, a, get the folded section, pull it up over your face. This one you don't even need to tie up. So buffs that they wear on Survivor, so all those of you out there that went and bought these things when the Survivor craved, yes I know I've got stuff all over me, I've been, drop, been working and I've been dropping stuff, and yes, I want people to see who I really am, I'm an artist, and artists work and do stuff and things like that, and unfortunately those drops are actually like the, when I spilt the cannabis oil, and yes I do take cannabis oil by the way, and I'm not showing you the medical data. But, um, yeah, unfortunately I spilled that on my shirt before the show. But it's that easy. You can make a mask out of the standard bandanas, the standard canteen bandanas. And if you buy a canteen bandana, you are supporting a charity for cancer with, for kids with cancer. So buy canteen bandanas, all right? Pull them up over your face. Okay, the first one, you know, you're too scared, you're worried that it's going to get through, bang. You now have a very good, I can still breathe through it. Make sure you still, if you've used double layers, make sure you can breathe through it, because even that is a slightly tough. I can breathe through the double layer of this material, it's real easy. So, so many people out there are saying they don't have masks, and they've most probably got these things in their cupboard because they support canteen. But yeah, I'm that desperate that I bought a floral one. It was there, so I bought it. I didn't know they were these type of buffs, but when I put these on, and yeah, you're going to get hat hair. You're going to get a lot of hat hair. And see, the main reason I got the bandana was because, see, I've got a beard. And when you wear a mask, this style of mask, which I don't, I don't have that many left anymore. These are the proper ones. These will stop asbestos and they'll also stop a virus. You only get so much use out of them. If you're coughing them, you've got to throw them away. So, and you don't let anybody else wear it. But the problem is, see this? See this problem here that I've got here? My beard. My beard is getting in the way of everything. I can't do anything about it. It's like it drives me nuts when this stuff happens. And sorry, I've just got to just do something here. So, uh, like when this happens, and you get the situation of, oh yeah, well, you think to yourself that I don't have a mask. Hey, 
I don't have a mask. Actually, yes, I do. I have a mask. Right there. And it even can cover over your ears to protect the internal of your ears as well. If you're worried about someone coughing at you from the side, the, the stretch buff type ones are even better. And you can pull it down. Oh no, I got a smiley face! <laughs> so, yeah, look, you can do whatever you like to protect yourself. And you should be protecting yourself. There's no excuse for not having a mask. 50 by 50 or 60 by 60 centimetres, that's 20 inches or 2 feet. So you can make them out of 20, 20 inches for smaller heads. Got a big head like me, you'll need 2 feet, 24 inches. Need those extra few inches to tie it up around your big knob. These ones just fit me. And they're great, they're 5 bucks each. You can get them at supermarkets. Um, you can ring Canteen, uh, you can ask them where they are, this is the charity, there, Canteen. So yeah, support this charity, five bucks each, you have a mask, they're a bit dearer than normal, but they work quite well, they actually work really, really well. Now, as I said to everybody, like I left the green screen up for a reason, why have I left up? If the worst comes to worst, that then becomes a lot of cotton masks and then I right and the great thing about these things when you can uh, don't pull them on your neck and tie up your knot too tight <laughs> because yeah you're gonna have to be careful of that but even if you do tie up your knot too tight you still can use the damn thing and you can, you can everyone like fair enough in your car you're driving like this pull up your destination bang you're now protected from the virus. You can walk around. How easy is that? In this current climate, the veiled people of the Islamic community are most probably the safest in the world because of their dress pattern. Because they do this. But guess what? All of those that whinged about people wearing burgers, you're going to have to get used to this because this is how we're going to survive. You don't wear this, you're going to die. It's not hard to die, trust me. It doesn't take much to kill the human body. It's called a little virus. You ever seen a movie called War of the Worlds? War of the Worlds is a good example of what a virus could do. Virus took out an alien race that came to our world. A great movie, by the way. Absolutely great movie. Now got Bicky there. But, um, yeah. Normally it's blue, by the way. But I haven't had time. Had a lot of stuff happen to me over the last year. I almost died, hence I've got a weak immune system. But see, we've also got a problem. We've got a problem with eBay and different things like that. To where they're sending out products and they're saying that they're from Australia. They're not from Australia. I recently got a, um, I'm just trying to actually get it up here. Recently got a mail from, from somebody. This is actually, is that that? No, that's not it. Oh, where is it? Back to library. Oh, okay, we can save it. But the whole point is, we can actually stop this virus. And um, as I said, like my seller claimed it wasn't coming from China at first. Oh, no, no, no. Then I said, oh, no, you lie. You're sending it from, because I'm sort of talking in their language and dropping the words here and there, because that's what they do. So I do it as well, to back to them. And I uh, say, look, you think we're Australians are stupid. We know it's coming from China. The moment it's not here in two days, we know you've dropped you. I've tried to cancel the order. And I reckon the police should step in if, I, if, if, he, if that arrives at my door, I reckon the police should step in. And there should be a law, and I've been lobbying the governments to make a law all day yesterday, and I really have, folks. I've actually lobbied, so if you're a drop shipper, don't drop ship from China, for fuck's sake. Because you could actually possibly be the cause of someone's death, because the virus can live on items when sent through the post. Yes, they, know, they, they say they don't know how long it lasts for, this is the CDC, but um, 
it does last for a certain period of time. And there was a video on this damn page that I was watching. No, that was the WHO. Sorry, I've got to get the WHO one back up. No, WHO. No, sorry, I'm just going to find the right web page. Not that one. Okay, so we'll just get it back up. WHO. I'm going to play you something from the WHO, Wealth Health, World Health Organization, um, and everything. And it's on there. Where is it? Sterilize it, and I mean, 
you sterilise it if someone has coughed on you. Because if you don't sterilise it and use it again, you can get it again. So it's that simple to put the mask on. There it is there. All I did, I folded the buff in half. I'll do it the opposite way so the ladies can see it. But yeah, that's all it is. It's a buff. It's a buff. Just a buff. You get the buff. You get the, find the halfway mark and you pull it inside itself. And you work it around and just do that. And you pull it over your head. And you get the bit where it's doubled over. Right? And bang. The ladies have got a very pretty mask. So ladies, you don't have to worry about it. Guess what? They sell nice bandanas that are the normal ones that are easy to use. Yes, they've got the Aboriginal ones. They've got an Australian oh, shirt. I only brought one out. I thought I'd put more out. Uh, they've got other designs. I supply, I'm a big supporter of Canteen, by the way. You ever see me? I actually really only wear the bandanas to hide my grey hair. <laughs> but it's so uh, confusing. I've got, young, I've got a bit of a young face, and people don't know how to realise how old I am. That's uh, uh, getting on in years. Getting on in years, as you can see by the hair. But see, I normally wear these. See, these, the way these are meant to do, well, here's the one that I've already done, because that, um, I've, I've got to wash all these afterwards, so. See, this is how you put a bandana on your head as well. See, if you don't, and this is a lesson for those of you that don't know how to put a bandana on your head. Opposite way, wrap it around, goes upside down, round your head. You can have a bandana up on your head, as a spare, you pull the back bit, you pull in the tail, and you've got to find the tail, and you pull the tail through, if you don't find the tail, you've got to start again. But see, if you fold it like that as a bandana, it doesn't work as well. So how you fold the true way to fold a bandana is like that. All right, for a little kid, they do it the first way. Adults, you need the extra room, try it over the back, and you've got it. I don't know, I've got a target on me now. Oh shit, I've always had a target on me. <laughs> I'm the cannabis protester. I don't stand up. I'm an idiot. It's sort of because I believe that you've got a point of view, get it across, and get it across straight away. And those of you, those of you that didn't know I was Aboriginal, yes, my great grandfather was Aboriginal. And uh, my dentist dad was Aboriginal. My nana, yeah. When you're born dark skin, but she grew out the white skin like me. Yet my cousins, some of my cousins got the dark skin. But um, yeah, but that's how easy it is. It's simply get your get your bandana, fold it over, wrap it around. And Canteen knows of this, by the way. I haven't fooled Canteen that I'm telling you all. And to get ready for the rush, so they can get it in stores. I go in two days before I made this video because this is the actual demonstration video to make you people realise that these are good. Now, as I said, it can be pulled out of the ears as well, and it does work. So you can have ear protection, mouth protection, nose protection, okay, your eyes, protect your eyes, put your sunglasses or your glasses on, and you've got a bit of a spray shield. You are now protected. No more of this, oh, we can't buy a mask, where did you get your mask from? For God's sake, go and cut up a bed sheet. As I said, that green drop sheet there worth quite a lot of money. I spent a lot of money on mine. They're six by three metre ones. So I can actually use them for movies and stuff like that. Need a little bit of a clean, especially this one. This has got all the fake blood on it from Halloween show. <laughs> Still haven't had time to clean it, but it does come out. There's great stuff about that. But yeah, simple, simple thing. You can turn around, you can have a smile, or you can make a friend and make it up to yourself. It's thing, you want to don't want to don't want a green smile, you change the pattern, you move it around. But each day when you get home, wash the fucking thing. Put it in the washer and the dryer, dry it out, and you've got a new mask. They're replenishable. Canteen have got plenty of them. There's many designs. And this is a charity. Canteen is a charity. They support kids with cancer. And this is how easy it is to change your mask. Carry a spare, for fuck's sake. You are protected. Okay, you might have to pull that down a little bit to get your glasses on, but once you do that, then you're protected. You have basic protection 
from the virus. This is better than nothing. Then I have seen so many people walking around with a cough. <coughs> that person should be fucking locked up. Sorry if you have a cough or a cold or the flu. Do what I did. Stay fucking home. Fair enough, I was under quarantine, but I still, yeah, think I did the right thing. And I stayed in quarantine until I had no more symptoms. Did exactly what the doctor said. I still actually have an infected foot. I can't do anything about that. The infection itself has got to stop. And by the way, the CBD oil, which is why I take the CBD THC, Actually, when I take it, my foot feels a hell of a lot better, not just for the pain relief. I think it's actually doing something in my foot. I really do. I actually think that's doing something in your foot. Now, with schools. Schools can operate. How can schools operate? See, there's a program called Uber Conference. Now, Uber Conference, I showed everybody in one of the other videos. And, um, okay, yes, and this stream is proudly brought to you by I one of the I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it off the screen. That was an accident. And for some unknown reason, it's uh, my screen is going absolutely farmy here. I don't know where anything is. And um, all my screens have gone farmy. So sorry about that. I'm still trying to get it back. There we go. God. I just lost a little bit of mail. Took my glasses. That's what happens when you take your glasses on. You can't see what you're clicking on. Uh, so uh, that was the mistake of not putting my reading glasses on. I can hit a target without my glasses at a thousand metres on the bullseye. You can you put something this far in front of me, folks. I can't see shit. It's called the old age, folks. It gets everybody. You want to know? There's one seat. Okay, you might be able to escape a bear. You might be able to stay, escape an attacking dog. You might be able to escape a crazed lunatic. But you cannot escape age. Grow old, dignified. Stand up for yourself. Just because we're old doesn't mean we're not the same fucking people. Get out of get out of it more often. Talk to people. Like I still still go to college. I went back to college. I got old and went back to college. And that's now the next subject I want to talk about. One good thing, I actually believe that the TAFE started taking my advice, because trust me, not only did I lobby the government, I've been lobbying TAFE for over a week and, um, about this. And bang, I got a letter last night. Our class is now electronic. And um, where's the letter? Let's get it up. Uh, hi all, due to the current COVID-19 crisis, our section has decided all classes will be run online. Teachers will contact you in regards to the online delivery. Any practical classes that cannot be delivered online will be delivered at a later date. Uh, we can extend the date, of course, and if it is necessary, which I think they're going to be doing because the live has already been off sick. Um, that was great, though. See, take listening to me, but the rest of the world yeah, you need to do it. So Australia has this thing called School of the Air. And the school, what the School of the Air is. Now, I even went to the press and told the press, the press didn't give a shit. The press didn't give a shit that there's a solution to keeping children in school. Or oh, one of them didn't want to take the credit for it, but guess what? Yeah, you try and do that, I've already done it. Don't worry me, I've been telling people for days. And the problem is, we have a major problem, and we do have a major problem, folks. And I'm just trying to get it up so you can all see it. That at the moment, our kids are still in school. I told the government, I gave them a day. I really did. I told the government they've got a day to get their act together, get our kids out of school and get a, an education system up and running. I showed them how to do it. And trust me, I spent the day, and I'm not joking, I spent the whole day yesterday lobbying the Australian government. Sorry, while I'm looking at me, I'm actually looking because I'm looking for all the page, there we go. Spent the whole day trying to explain to the government that they can use this software to keep our children in school. They, they still be home. Okay, now with parents, they, oh, we both work. Well, one of you are going to have to stay home to look after your children. I'm sorry. You've got to make just as much sacrifice as businesses. I've had the way uh, the delivery of a, an invention, the ZS, um, because of the coronavirus, so if I've got to delay it, maybe you should uh, take, oh, well, we need the money. 
Well, if you're going to work when you're sick and you're not looking after your children because of this virus, you're at risk of giving them the virus. You need to start growing up and acting like adults. And kids, um, mum and dad, you can play this section for the kids. Kids, if I catch you out doing shit, running around when you're supposed to be locked up, I'll call the coppers and I'll have them lock you up. I won't hesitate because unfortunately, you are the one spreading this quickly because of your contact with adults, your contact with your mates and everything, and your contact with your little friends. You can't go near friends as much as you want kids. You've got to learn social isolation as well. And by doing that, you can help stop this crisis, kids. You get to look like a cowboy. And you think about it, Mum and Dad, how many kids are going to love going to school or going outside dressed as a cowboy. Find some nice bandanas for them, make them want to wear them. Uh, even if you just use them on your kids. Uh, they might not wear, want to wear a mask, but trust me, little kids would love to wear a cowboy mask. You make a big thing out of it. Parents could, if parents have to take their children out, and some parents that I saw today that are just wondering, taking their kids out in the public and stuff like that, the object is to keep them at home because they're the ones that are spreading this disease. And I'm 100% sure this is why it's being spread. So they can't explain any other way. And they, I don't think they've looked at the thing yet. I, I think the World Health, Health Organization has. But, and they're now starting to realize that kids are the reason this is spreading so fast. It's because of their fast contact. Oh, get out, mate, go! Couple each other and all the little kids. Hi, Johnny, hi! Oh, you want to swat of apples? They're the ones causing the instant spread because they're, they've got a better immune system than people like me. I'm trying to protect people my age and people my parents' age. I'm trying to make sure that they survive this crisis. I'm trying to make sure you survive this crisis. I'm a well-educated man. I've been in the education system for over 26 years, not as a teacher, as a student. I would classify myself as the Leonardo da Vinci of this century, without a doubt. I've developed an aircraft that flies. I've developed an invention that every one of you are soon going to see, hold and use on a regular daily basis. And trust me, you'll use it every single day day. That's how good my invention is. And I'm very smart. I learned how to research. How did I learn that we need to quarantine for 40 days? We need to quarantine for 40 days and for 40 nights. Lock everything down. Yeah, it sounds biblical. But if we don't do it, we're going to die. And this has to be a global quarantine because the ones not quarantining themselves, they're the ones that are going to die. And if it gets bad out there, we can stay in there for longer. We set up governments to make sure there's food drops to everybody. And the governments are going to have to make sure this happens. Because after a 40-day period, if they caught it off a service, then the virus has got about a two-week gestation in them. So then you add a few extra days, say a week, and an attack comes to 40 days. And now, yeah, it sounds biblical. That's how I did it. I put the two times, the catching it, the spreading of it on a surface, because once we go down into quarantine, if it's on a surface, right, it's going to be dead in 16 days. So far, that's what they reckon. It may go longer. And that comes from the World Health and all the other organisations. They're unsure, and I'm still trying to look for that damn little video. And um, it's, yeah, just amazing to what these people are doing out there. And yet, we have a major epidemic on our hand. The worst epidemic this world has seen in many years. And our children are just throwing their hands up at it. I went to the supermarket after I got out of quarantine. And yes, I was out of quarantine. I have legally been tested. My doctor can verify it. So I do not have the virus. But I don't want to catch it because I have a weak immune system. So I'm taking precautions no matter what. I don't care what anybody thinks. But the other day, there was a group of kids when I went out to get my groceries that I needed and found out the Woolworths are doing what they're doing. They were just running around, 
<laughs> cuddling each other. Oh no, you got the coronavirus. They're making fun of it. That's how they're spreading this fucking thing. It's the youth and the younger ones because they are not isolated. You need to educate your fucking children. And sorry, now, yeah, this bit you don't show your kids. But if you don't, you're an idiot. We can stop this virus, but, and I'm now talking and addressing the world leaders. We need to lock down for 40 days, for 40 nights. Make sure everybody gets food. Make sure and do a logistical nightmare into reality. We have enough food stores in stock. Right now, you know it, we know it. All you have to do is make sure everybody gets fed for 40 days, for 40 nights. Yes, you may need to mobilise the army. Essential services will still need to work, but isolate themselves. All the essential services out there still need to operate. People that know these jobs and everything like that, but the rest of us are going to have to sacrifice. And the government is going to have to make sure that we have everything we need. They are going to need to keep the internet lines open. They are going to need to keep the water lines open. They are going to need to keep the sewerage open. They're going to have to keep a lot of things open. But they're going to have to close things. Now, for schools, as I said, the teacher can be in a classroom. And the way Uber conference works, you can have one person in one room with one different with a different thing. You can have... Um, another person in a room and they just do that. It takes five minutes to sign up to this soft, this web page. That's it. Five minutes. This is how quickly it starts. Unfortunately, my webcam is not talking to the thing because I'm using it on OBS, so I won't talk to the thing. While I use it on OBS, it won't work on YouTube. So, what we've got to do... This conference call is provided by Uber Conference. And I've lost my Uber conference. There we go. students can share their pages back. And how do I know this? Because School of the Air works. We already have a working prototype. We have had a working prototype for many, many years. Now, this prototype is called School of the Air. And I did have that up. I'm just looking for that now. I'm just going to go back and get it up. And that's what it is. That's School of the Air, folks. And to all the teachers and to all the governments around the world, this is the, the setup that you need to do. You can teach your students and they don't have to be in a classroom. This is done over a radio, and I believe, I think now maybe even over the internet, I think it may have um, progressed. The School of the Air have been informed. I've asked them to talk to the government. I've asked the government to talk to the School of the Air, find out how that's done, get them to teach the teachers, and teachers then teach teachers, and then all the teacher has got to do is say, hey, look, guys, all you've got to do is this is the time, this is the conference number that you go to, and I'll get my cannabis protester one up. And by the way, that is the current one that is on the screen. And I'm just getting it up so you can all see. And you can call into it, by the way. So the coronavirus is quite serious. Now, if you want to join the conference, feel free. I would love you to come in, because this is what your children are going to be doing. They're going to have to just log on into this web page and if people came in, I could show them, I could share my screen. Um, where is share the screen? Share the screen, there we go, share the screen, and I'm going to share this one that I'm working on now, my main screen. So everybody watching would get that, but you're you're seeing what you're not seeing there. Sorry, it didn't, yeah, because I'm not actually sharing, so it's not working. Um, because there's no one there, needs someone there to be watching because they're going to get it. 
but if someone was on there, I could get them to share the screen. And um, but it's easy. All you've got to do, call me for that number, and we'll have a conversation, and I can show you. But it's easy for children to do this. It seriously takes five minutes, folks. All it takes is five minutes. Your children can be back at school in five minutes' time. They are told, OK, we're not opening tomorrow, like I have just been told by my college. That child, um, well, we've been told that it's going to be online. And um, it's really, really simple, because what they're going to wake up to, this is their new classroom, right there on the screen. That's the new classroom. Or programs similar to Uber Conference, because Uber Conference is not the only one. I use Uber Conference, that's the only reason I'm doing that. I'm not getting paid to do this, trust me. This is because I reckon this is actually one of the best things I've ever seen. I get to have a free conference with somebody. And I've got tools that I don't get with Skype. I have never had a breakdown with Uber Conference yet. I have when I've had people waiting, but that's generally because they just get the shits and hang up. But the whole thing is, folks, we can actually educate our people. We can educate our students. We can keep them safe. All with this simple web page, Uber Conference. That's all it is. If you want to call into this show, there's a number. Now, they, the teachers can have their own things. They can have it set up. I can change that name in a heartbeat. Actually, I might do. No, no, I don't know if I can do it now because I'm restricted. Um, but I can change the name, that last name there, where it says uberconference.com, cannabis protesting. Yes, I believe in the legalisation of cannabis. And um, I am uh, somebody that needs it, actually. Now, the thing is, Americans can call in to that number that I have to use a pin, but see, for the children and teachers, they just need that address. That's all they need. To join a conference, that's all you need, that web address. Bang, you're in the conference, you're talking to the person in a heartbeat. It's really easy. And we can keep our children educated, we can keep them safe. Because I'm telling you now, they're the one that... See, it's coming in via the mail. It's coming in through eBay and all the online websites because 99% of products are coming from China. And dead set, the, that message, and I've got the thing up to play it, so you can actually hear it being played. And I... Um, actually went through this I actually made it um, different things I'll pay this is this is just their late, latest message to me which is a joke by the way so and they think that oh yeah it's not a problem not a problem I've had that not a problem don't man don't worry man not a problem not a problem and these are his exact words as written. And I'll get it onto the screen so you can see it. So you can actually see that I'm not lying to you. This is, or this is as it was typed by them. Okay, it's just copied over here so that I can read it. And let me just get the controls, make sure everything is right, get it on the screen. Okay, so this is what he wrote back to me. Hi. Our China are safe now. The epidemic situation is under control. You may be a bit misunderstood about the way the epidemic is spread. It is transmitted through respiratory infections, not through contact. If you are not assured, you can also disinfect it. Bactericidal, I hope you don't panic yourself. This epidemic effect, the log stick ship delay, is factly, all ship are come this problem. For this case, we suggest you can wait it patiently. Thanks, understanding. Best wish. Even though, this is the very first message I sent them. Right. Very first message. Oh, there's been hundreds of messages since. That was the very first message I sent them. 
Why have you not sent my item yet? Are you sick? If you are, I want a refund as I have a weak immune system. Why have you not sent my item as it has not been sent? You have bought con note, but no item in postal system. I'm worried you are sick, and if you are, I'm in danger. See, they were told that, the very, very first message. The moment I realised that it was being dropshipped, i.e., oh, sorry, out of stock, we have to wait for it to come in. But that was my first message before that happened. Then I pretty much, uh, where is it? But it just goes on every single time. I message them. I have a weak immune system. I cannot accept this package. If you are sending from China, you told me it was from Sydney. And it was like that in every single message. Yet these people are trying to send me a, something from China. They told me it was in Australia. You need to watch out for this sort of con. Check their items, where they're coming from, but not just check their item. What you do, you go to their name, because all of them have their own store. And when you go to their store, based in China, Home Garden One Two Three has been an eBay member since 25th of October 2019. This is how you check anybody. You can go to anybody. Just all you do, you click on their name. That's all I did. I just found a website. Just saw, okay, yep, click on that, and bang, you go. I'll get another one. And I bet you ten to one I can find another one in another stra another in, Ch in China that says based in Australia because I did more searches. Uh, let's look for what can we look for? Um, pots. We'll go for a pot. Um, stainless steel. And um, okay, hang on. Um, Search that, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, we've got three D stainless steel pots. Uh, good price, people. Oh, this one says based in Australia. Wow. Okay. Actually, found one that was actually based in Australia. That's actually very rare. The finds on were based in Australia, um, even though they say in Australia trying to find one that does say Australia and then comes up as China. Okay, it says Dandenong, South Australia. Yeah, there we go. This is the one I want to show you. All right, now, here is the problem that everybody is getting online. Is they've got an item and they're saying that item is, so I'm going to find the right page folks, just give me a second. Uh, where is it? Oh no, it's there, you already got it, sorry. It's already up. So you've basically got it here, and it says based in China. Yeah. So this is what they call um, fraud. Based in South Australia, based in Dandenong, Australia. Then what happens? You get a, um, you get in the mail all the messages. Oh, sorry, out of stock, out of stock. It's a common trick. They pull this all the time, and they're driving people nuts when they do it. They're saying it's coming from Australia. They're not coming from Australia, folks. They are coming from China. And trust me. They are coming from China. I've been now told they are coming from China. You've, you've heard that in that message. Oh, don't worry, Al. The situation's safe. It's the worst country in the fucking world with the virus. The most people dying are in China. The most infected are in China. Oh, don't worry. See, they, they're trying to cover it up. They listen to the government fucking propaganda. This could be a fucking weapon, for God's sake. But we can still, in the meantime, we can still protect our borders as well. How do we protect our borders? Everything coming through mail should be quarantined for 20 days. That's right. Well, 
The mean time of the virus is eight days, that's the most deadly. On the surface, on stainless steel. So that means 16 days is the lifespan. But that's what they've been able to test to so far. So we make it 20 just in case. So we quarantine everything coming into Australia for 20 days regardless. Um, whether it's coming in by a container, and they're going to have to check every single container out there because they get shipments of people all the time, even here in Newcastle. I've seen them walking along here in the middle of the night with a suitcase, pillows and uh, one suitcase, a pillow, a blanket, little kids cuddled up and wrapped up, and everything moving in the middle of the night secretly from the container thing that's just over here to my right. Are they reported? Numerous ones. We've, we, they jump out here and sleep in the trees. Uh, set alone. We had some Nigerians caught, set fire to one of the trees. They camped out under one of the trees. They constantly steal my eggs. They drive me nuts. I go out there, so I always know when they're out there in the trees because my eggs go missing. And there's a little, so they've worked out where they're getting in. I'm going to fix that up tomorrow. But the thing is, it's sort of. We've got to stop the, the spread of the virus. We have to work together. If we don't work together, people are going to continue to die. And it might sound biblical, but we need to go into a worldwide lockdown. And yes, our armies and navies are going to be on full alert. They're going to have to work out a way to self-isolate on ships. They're going to have to work out a way to fight separated, to defend our country. And trust me, they are right now protecting everything. And they're planning. At least they're planning. And they're getting ready. I know they're getting ready. You can tell. You can tell they're getting ready. Well, I haven't been able to get in contact with my son for days. So I know they're getting ready. So I'm just looking at my beard and adjusting my beard. <laughs> but, um, yes. The problem is, folks, that we have a major issue out there, and that major issue is the coronavirus pandemic. It's real. We know it's real. We have to get it into our kids' heads that it's real. Unfortunately, the children in my family have just been hit hard with the news, and they know. So they know that this could affect anybody. We don't know yet. We don't know if that's what took them it's sort of, we, yeah, we've got to wait for the doctor. I'm still waiting for my sister to call me and tell me, oh, well, the doctor rang, and this is what happened a month. But we don't know yet. Are they, are they covering something up? We don't know. So we have to turn around and ask ourselves, how do we protect ourselves? We are the most important people. Uh, as I said, keep your kids at home, get your teachers and everything set up. This so that your children and your teachers can talk, tell them to set up timetables with their different classes and what time they are to log on so they can have breaks and mum and dad or mum or dad, brother, sister, someone home to look after them to make sure that they're home. The vulnerable children, you have that teacher watching those vulnerable children, make sure they have wet pants. So, yeah. And there you go. There's your mask. That simple, folks. That's simple. And it goes with it, you can go over your ears, protect your ears as well. You can still see. And you know that you're safe. So yeah, that's all it is. It's a bandana, cowboy style bandana. It's made with simple material, very simple material. But when you double that over, you not only have one layer, you have a two layer filter. As I said, you could also put another one over the top. So it's easy to do. It's not hard. You can have one. If you've got people around you coughing, I would recommend you do that. You go one. But this, when you get like this, it is get tougher to breathe. But if you're in that situation where you have to have a bit of aid of breath, it's actually just like breathing like, through a gas mask would be the best way. You've got to stop and you've got to take breath. You've got to stop. And when you take breath, you suck in through your mouth. Or you suck in through your nose. But you know any droplet out there is hitting the outside. Because now I've got four layers. So if you're really worried, you can put four layers on. 
And government, by the way, you're going to have to remove that uh, law about if you wear a mask in public. That's a very stupid law to have in force while this is going. Um, yeah, there is actually a law in Australia that this is illegal. <laughs> but at the moment, we need it there to protect ourselves. I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm protecting myself. I'm one of the vulnerable. I have to protect myself. Now, someone says, oh, I can't afford $5, or I can't afford to go and do that. Everybody's got old shirts. Everybody's got old paint shirts. Like that. Okay, I'm looking for holes. No holes in that side. Oh, there is a hole in that side. Okay, well, I'd use the back of that shirt. I'd get a bandana out of the back of that shirt. Because everybody's got shirts and got, got holes in them. I know that. Because moths get everywhere. That's a bandana. That's not actually a sheet, but that could be a sheet. That's actually better to pick up than a sheet. Um, but I can turn that, and I am going to turn that into masks if I have to. That's my backup. And if that runs out, which it won't, I have these. I have another two more of these over the back. Because I do film and I do video and I like to green screen a lot of stuff. But that's what that is, that's a green screen. That's how we have the computer game operating behind us. If you want to know what a green screen is, kids, that's what it is. But the thing is, we have this ability to do this now. And I'm telling you now, if our government doesn't get off their ass and do it today, Australia, Move to remove them. It can be done legally. You just write to certain people. You write to the Attorney General and you write to the Queen. That's all you have to do. It's a really simple process. I removed the Prime Minister once. I'm also named, known as Mr. Remove Kevin 07. I'm the man that lobbied for the Australian Labor Government to remove him. And yeah, I'm actually proud of what I did. I'm not afraid of do they see who I am? They all know who I am. I've been down there protesting years ago. I once drove my ice cream truck around Parliament House. Playing Val Marie, Val Barra. I'm a protester from way back. I get ripped off, I protest. People rip me off? Yeah, I'll even put them up on, I'll shame them on YouTube. I'm not afraid of shame. But the thing is, we have a chance here to stop this virus if we don't work together. And yes, I'm sorry I haven't been reading chat. I noticed a couple of people there. I do apologize, folks. I have been, yeah, busy. And um, yeah, it's it's biblical. Um, sorry, Mendel Mile, I, I didn't um, realize you were there. So sorry, dude. Um, just get the chat up. I forgot to put the chat up. And then I might even put that in the window, actually. So um, get that ready. But yeah, no, it's it's real. This is real. I'm not yeah, we'll see. They don't sorry. I found N95. Oh, N95s are pretty good, but you're better off with N97s. It's not a hope. Okay, the reason I've just stopped the video, folks, is because of the simple fact that I made a error in the broadcast of this video where I said items were being made in Australia when I should have actually said items were made in China. So it'll be coming up, it's at 1 minute 05, 10 seconds. So it's just a mistake. That's why I'm doing this re-upload so that everybody knows that I made a mistake. Um, it happens when you do, this is why they do cuts and edit stuff, uh, because mistakes like that happen. So I'm actually going to the effort of actually rebroadcasting the video. I will be deleting the old videos and I'm asking anybody that has already re-uploaded it onto their video to swap it for this video. So it's coming up in a minute. I will stop the video in a moment again. So. It's man, it's not a hoax. Time, not going to see you ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a government, it's definitely a government plan. Oh, it's, it's, there's no two ways about this, folks. This has got something to do with a government out there. Some government out there caused this. And trust me, it worked for nothing. Yeah, that's what I said in the last video, work for God. And if God made it 40 days, 40 nights, maybe we should too. We are now building our own arcs. And that's the way I look at it. And if the government doesn't do it, I will declare a day that we put ourselves in quarantine. Don't go out. 
because if this starts getting worse, I'm just going to, I personally will, I'll just tell everybody to do it now because that's what I'm doing now, get ready. Because if the governments don't act and do it, I'll tell you to do it because we're going to need a 40 day period because the people that are, aren't doing it, they will turn around and they're all going to realise that shit, maybe we should have quarantined. This has to be global, folks. This has to be global. And it's, we've got to stop buying on eBay. Trust me, you buy on eBay, look at the name on their, look at the name of their channel. Because it says where they're based. Based in China, all the thing. But, and then they say, oh, don't worry, don't worry, nothing wrong in China. Don't worry, sir, it did come to you, not a problem. You underestimate the virus. Don't fucking listen to them. Cancel your fucking order. Right? I've done that. I've In every letter I've written, I am vulnerable citizen. I am sick. I have a weak immune system. They have been told in every single message, yet one of them, or two of them, sorry, are still trying to send me the product. Because they don't want to lose the sale. Yet it's telling eBay, and trust me, it's been reported, they're telling eBay they've got plenty of stock. But once you buy it, there's no stock. And this is what a lot of people do. And see, when you buy something online, it's coming from China, trust me. Now, the ZS will not come from China, the ZS will actually come from this house, because this is where they're being packed. But the thing is, when you get out there and you do something, and you're trying to do something, you're trying to save your um, life, because if you're not trying to save your life, remember, look, like, I'm not saying God gave me this idea, but I just popped into my fucking head to research this subject, and I did. I research them. This is how I get all my ideas. They pop into my fucking head, and I research them, and I look them up, and I do it. And the thing is, if we don't quarantine ourselves, and we can't just do it in, like, America here, and Australia here, and China here, and this country here, everybody's got to go in lockdown, whether they're sick, or not. They've got to go in lockdown. The virus has got to die. Yes, we're going to lose some people still. But by locking people down in their homes, locking them down in where, everywhere, stopping the flow of mail, that's the biggest one. Stop the flow of the mail from China. If you don't, you're going to fucking die. In other words, I'm not telling the government, just the governments, I'm telling you. Stop the flow from China. Don't buy anything online, folks, because even if it says in Australia 95% of people are actually drop shipping it from China, you go where there's websites where we go and buy the product and then sell it. I've shut my store down because I'm not going to be responsible for someone getting sick because we sell items. As everybody knows, I've got multiple channels, one of them's from my eBay channel. And the thing is, when I sell stuff, I know it comes from China. But I tell people, item location, China. If it came from Italy, I'd say item location, Italy. So they know the product is coming from another country. But these damn unscrupulous bastards, one should be charged, and if it arrives here, and I, especially if I get the virus, they should be charged with man manslaughter if I die. But I will, if that arrives here at my door, I'm going to push the police to have them charged with arrested murder, um, with attempted murder. Because they have been told I am a vulnerable person. They have been told I'm sick, that my body, if I get this disease, will kill me quickly. Oh, they don't care. I oh, don't worry, no virus, no problem, no problem. The fucking is. There's a major fucking problem. And you should be ashamed of yourself trying to send me the fucking item. And trust me, I will send you to jail if you send it to me, because that is attempted murder. You know that I am a protect oh, sorry, a vulnerable person, and I'm protected under Australian law. You try and send me something that has the possibility of killing me, you are responsible for attempted murder. And if you send something to somebody from China and they're a vulnerable citizen, you could be responsible for attempted murder. You have to understand this. If you are a dropshipper, you have to get your act together now. Don't think you're going to make a lot of money. Yes, okay, we're all going to suffer for a little while. But we have to do this. 
because I guarantee you, 99, everything you drop ship comes from China, you are bringing that virus in. It can survive on the item, it can survive for 16 days. That's what we know now. A week ago, it was eight days. Two days before that, it was six days. Why? Because they've only just started studying how long that virus can live on an item. They can get an item from China to here four days. Why? I know. I get them all the time. If I'm testing a product, I get them express shipped so I can start selling them. But I've been shut down ever since I've known about this damn virus. And the reason why I shut down is because I don't want to spread it. Yet these people are trying to send it to me, and there needs to be a law. And I've said to the government today, they need to bring out a law. But if people are lying about item locations, and they're coming from China, they're putting people's lives at risk. This is why I'm calling for a male quarantine. Because I don't want people like me and other people to die. So many people at the elderly have died. We have a lady in the Marta Hospital up near me who has the virus. She doesn't know where she got it from. She's had no contact with anybody that's travelled overseas. So where's it coming from? Oh, but maybe she bought something from overseas. Oh, I just bought it online. 99% of your products that you buy online are manufactured in China and sent from China. They may be Australian companies. Okay, now this is just where I made the mistake in the other videos. I said it may be Australian companies, but then made in Australia, it was meant to say, but they make them in China. So please understand that, okay? It was it is a mistake, and I'm going to stop the video again just to confirm that mistake. But they're manufacturing in Australia. That's where I made the mistake. It is supposed to be China, not Australia. It is supposed to be China. So please understand the rest of the video. I'm not going to change. But if you're an Australian, you want to listen on, because I'm actually just, just suggesting that maybe we need to remove a government that's not acting and not protecting us. Uh, they are putting our lives at risk with their current attitude. And they are not acting in. We're going to wind up like Spain and all the other countries because this is spread when it's in a country, it spreads fast. So please listen to the rest of the virus and please do so. And um, yeah, listen to what I suggest to do the Australian Liberal Party. We actually need to do it but definitely don't vote them in the next election because of what they have already done. They could have they could have been the ones responsible. They could have locked this country down a long time ago. So from here on in, I get a bit political. So please listen on if you are Australian. Okay? But there's a lot of good stuff still in the video. Okay? The ZS, by the way, is not manufactured in China, will never be manufactured in China, will always be Australian made. I've got to throw that in. Now, the thing is, we need to actually stop this mail flow, and that needs to stop immediately, folks. It really, really does. It's got to stop now. It just can't keep on going. It's got to stop at this very minute. We have to shut our mail borders down. Yes, they're going to have a stockpile. They're going to have to date it for quarantine reasons. So, in other words, all mail from overseas gets thrown into that bin, gets stuck there, and that's the quarantine. But for 20 days, and mail's just got to stop. We've got to stop. We might have, might have to stop getting it, everything in. Get it in, but don't let it out. That's the thing. You've got everything in. It's so easy. Anything coming in from overseas must go through customs. Well, that's where we shut it down. And it's going to be the only way that everything coming in has got to be shut down. That's going to happen now, but when we quarantine, everything's got to stop. No mail on planes, no mail off planes, no mail on ships, no mail anywhere. Everything to stay in its own country. Leave everything in that country for 40 days. No travel, zero travel. Right, i.e. I'm talking flights. No interstate travel, unless in extreme emergencies. We need to start taking these steps on a global measure because if we, this is a pandemic for fuck's sake. Why is it a pandemic? Because we let it become a pandemic, didn't take strong measures and steps at the beginning. This is where we blame our governments 
and next election do not fucking vote Liberal. Kick the assholes out. They don't deserve this position. Ah, don't wear a mask. You don't need to wear a mask. Fuck off. What's, why is the World Health, Health Organization telling us to? You are the most uninformative government I have ever come across. And guess what? If you don't even implement everything I lobbied yesterday, I am writing to the necessary authorities to remove this government. And I have good grounds to do so. You have given me those grounds to write to these people to remove the Liberal Party from government. That is a fucking promise from Anthony James fucking Avery. I will remove the government. And I will remove it the only way I can. Legally. I lobbied to get rid of Kevin Rudd. I got rid of Kevin Rudd. For those of you who don't know, I once removed the Prime Minister by simply lobbying every single Labor member that there was. That's how I removed Kevin 07. I still wear the email, remove Kevin 07 to this day. Not going to tell you where, but that's, that's my email. But the thing is, you have that same right. If this government does not act and doesn't start closing down the borders today to the emails, to the, sorry, not the emails, to the mail, doesn't start quarantining the mail, doesn't start quarantining shipments, they need to be removed. Write to the Attorney General, write to the Queen. You have the right to write to both. Under the laws that we, our country was founded on, you can write to these people and we can have this government removed. And I think with their current actions, they need to be. I told them yesterday that I was going to do this. See, I'm not just going to do it on my own. I'm calling for every single Australian citizen to do the same thing. This government has put our lives in danger. They need to be removed. The Labor Party can temporarily be placed into government straight away. They know that I am doing this to this very minute. They were told yesterday that I was going to do this. This government needs to be removed if they do not act and then act closing the borders and getting our children out of schools and into a classroom where they can still learn. It's called Uber Conference. It's a web page for God sakes and it takes five minutes to set it up. This is the most passionate thing I have ever felt for in my life to protest about. And I'm not joking. I will write to the Queen and I will write to the Attorney General and I'm currently appealing them to them now because I'm going to include a link to this video. People are dying all over the world and our government is not doing what they are supposed to, protecting us. They have a half-assed attitude and they need to be kicked out. I'm calling for every Australian to write to the Attorney General to ask for the removal of the Australian Liberal Party and place the Labor Party temporarily in power through this crisis so that we can get our people safe. And I'm doing the same for the Queen. I'm sending the letter to the Queen, asking her the same thing, and asking her to remove this government. We need our protection. They are supposed to be there to protect us and to act for us. They're not doing that. They need to stop. This air message is proudly sponsored by whatiszs.com and proudly sponsored by me, Anthony James Avery. Close our borders to mail immediately. Get our kids out of school and also turn around and get them operating using Uber Conference. So easy, it takes five minutes. Everybody can come and sign up to Uber Conference right now. It wouldn't take that long. And you can have operational classrooms before the kids even know what hit them. And I'm not joking. I am really calling for all Australians to write to the Attorney General and write to the Queen to remove this government. They have not acted fast enough. They have not done it. They, they are half assing everything and we need to stop it. The Australian Labor Party have been informed that I'm doing what I'm doing right now and to be ready. Because they did it to a, 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 us many years ago. They removed Gough Whitlam. We need to remove this government the same way. And that's how you do it, folks. Right to the Attorney General, right to the Queen. They have to. This is what our, the law is there for, for us to tell them that we're not happy with our government and they're not doing their job. 
we want a government that does the job. And at the moment, the only ready-based government that we've got is the Labor Party. So kick one out, make them, give them the opportunity to get have a go. We've got to do something, folks. It's got to be done now. Otherwise, more people are going to die. The death toll is rising day by day. And it does need to be a global event. If it's not done globally, if you shut one place down and then all of a sudden the other place didn't shut down and someone else comes into that area, bang, it's spread. You close it down for 40 days, for 40 nights. Everyone that has it will be identified and can be treated. The disease is no longer being spread because you have taken that chance away. The police are going to have to work harder. They're going to have to get retired cops out of the thing to patrol streets. The Army's going to have to get involved. The Navy, the Air Force, a lot of them. They're going to have to make sure that the people are fed during that 40-day period. This is the most serious thing I have ever seen in my life. And we need to act now as a people in Australia. If you are an Australian citizen, it is time to make this government act. You also have the right to ring 6277777 and ask for the part the Prime Minister's office. Or you can ask for the Deputy Leader. You can do what I did yesterday, lobby the government to close and sorry, close and quarantine all mail coming into Australia. Anything coming in must be quarantined for a 20 day period. So it kills the virus. But then when we shut the world down, the chance of it spreading any further is going to stop because people aren't touching everything. And I'm sorry, I'm not reading the chat at the moment. Because people aren't touching everything. They're, they're at home. Yes, you're going to have to quarantine yourselves from each other because you don't want people getting sick. And if you get that idiot idea, oh, we don't care, you're all going to fucking die. If one of you are sick, you're all going to die. If you have that attitude, you're all going to die. This is seriously the most serious thing and you have to start doing something about it. Sorry, I've got to put my glasses on so I can read what they're saying in chat. Um, sorry, guys. Yeah, and this is why they start talking about um, the mutations and different things like that. But if we don't do these things, folks, our kids are going to die, our mums are going to die, our dads are going to die. I already have to attend a funeral. I hope you don't. I really don't. We've got to stop it. We must stop this from going any further. And this is the only way. Why? And you think about it. If we can stop both sections of the virus, the surface life and the touching, because in, a, in an affected house that will can be identified, that person can be looked after, can be cared for, that whole house unfortunately now then goes into an extra quarantine period. But then that logistics thing is coming down because we know where the virus is. But if we don't do the 40 day before it happens, we're not gonna know where it is. But if we quarantine for 40 days, we're gonna know every single location all over the world. By doing this on a, as a global event, every single person, and China, stop fucking dragging people out of homes, escort them out, put them on a fucking stretcher for God's sake, and stop dragging them out of their homes. That is the most disgusting video I've ever seen in my life. You need to start acting like fucking adults, all of you, and I'm talking to the governments right now. You need to start acting like governments and protect your fucking people, because trust me, there's a big man coming soon, and when he gets here and sees this shit, he'll be kicking your asses. So you've all got to get together and realise we need a 40 day period of quarantine. We do need it. And yes, you can see the cannabis protester at the top of the screen. Yes, I am a cannabis protester. I believe that cannabis should be legalised all over the world. It works as a medicine. It works. There is nothing wrong with that medicine. It works. That's 60 mils of cannabis oil and sorry, I'm just looking for my mouse so I can see what's going on. There we are. That's 60, mil, um, 60 mils of cannabis oil. There is 12 milligrams of THC. There is 20 milligrams of CBD in that medicine. 
And sorry, I have to read it. And I was trying to read it without my glasses. But the thing is, that medicine works, by the way. It needs to be legalised. Everybody vote for cannabis legalisation. And please, put it on the PBS. People like me can't afford it. If it wasn't for a generous benefactor, I wouldn't have that vinyl there. And it works. And it's so easy. This is how you dose. And this is, a, this is for doctors out there that don't know how to prescribe medical cannabis. You measure two drops. So you, do, you get to the measure, you measure your two drops, that's it. Take the medicine, wait 15 minutes. Mate, see if you're starting to get any effect. Then wait another 15 minutes, and if you're not feeling pain or relief, you take another two drops. So that is, but it needs to be on the PBS. It needs to be free for people like me that can't afford it. I have reduced my endone intake from eight tablets a day to one tablet a day. And the only reason I'm only taking one tablet a day is to stop me going into withdrawal. And it should be legalised. And it should be legalised for recreation. Do you know we have a cannabinoid system? It's where our bodies are meant to actually use this. I can feel my body getting better because I'm using this medicine thanks to a generous benefactor. And he still won't let me say his name. But I'm going to say it to he. And I'm sorry, I'm... I can't but help that guy because he helped me get the medicine that the government doesn't let me get for free, yet they'll give you a medicine that kills me. That's why I protest for cannabis. It should be, it's actually been medically legal for three years. Your doctor can prescribe this. And they're not prescribed. If you have one of 40, 42 conditions, and one of those 42 conditions are if you are on a narcotic drug. Because what it does, it helps you get off that narcotic drug without any withdrawals. And it gives you the pain relief that you need. I call this the tree of life. Because I have pictures the Anunnaki once had. And it's the cannabis tree. Cannabis has been used for thousands upon thousands of years. The prohibition needs to stop globally. It needs to be legalised all over the world. Let's just say it's because I'm reaching out to all the companies around the world, I'm throwing that little bit in at the end. Because that's what my channel's about anyhow. And those of you on my other channels, yes, I'll get to you guys and I'll make my little videos on those channels. But you're all watching this one. Because this is who I really am. My name's Anthony James Avery. Hi, how are you? Everybody fucking knows me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm not afraid to show my face. I've never been afraid to show my face. A lot of the times, I just my webcam doesn't work. That sort of anybody that's had webcams knows that they've got a certain life, then they die. And I don't have the money to go and buy them. And I've got other things happening in my life, my other channels know what and everything on those channels, what those subjects are about. They all they know everything that's going into my life. Because you guys and subscribers are my friends. I'm not afraid, I'm an Australian citizen. I believe cannabis should be legal. But I also believe that this government needs to get kicked out, guys. I really do. We need to keep this government up the arse and kick them out. Maybe we should give someone like the hemp party a go. Then we could get legalisation in Australia, at least. Um, but at the moment in the emergency crisis, maybe get, say, someone like the hemp party, get all their people in and get the Labor Party to teach them. That way, when, when we do it, we get a, and get an adverse group of other people after we kick the late Liberal Party out. They shouldn't have anything to do with this crisis from this day on. We should kick them out and let the others take over. And trust me, they've been told, they know that I'm lobbying the government to do this. And if they don't, that I'm going to do what, exactly what I did with Kevin Rudd, make the appropriate lesson, letters. Because trust me, it took a letter from me as well. They didn't just do it on their own. They had to, they had to have a reason to do it. Someone had to start the movement. How does, how does it happen? Well, there's a lobbyist like me sitting in the background gets sick of what's going on in the government, so I try and change the laws. Well, I've changed a couple. And um, as I said earlier in my earlier video, I made it so that people on Centrelink can now get multiple advances throughout the year. I, all I did, I lobbied the Minister for Social Security. I actually showed him the, the clear, illogical sense of what they were doing and showed them how to do it. And then bang, I was actually quite shocked when they did that one. So one man can make a difference. One 
and me can make a difference, and you can make that difference. It just doesn't have to be me, it can be you. But in this current climate, it's a new world. I got told it out. It's a bloody new world, mate. Well, I've had a lot of thought about it. It is. It is a new world. That time that I have prepped for all my life has happened. Not, it's not happening. It's happened. It's here. It's already here. There's nothing you can do about it. And if you don't want to die, you need to start taking some of that advice. Go and get yourself a bandana. Make a mask. If they don't have a mask, bandana, wear a buff. And actually, you want to know something? If I have to, I prefer to wear this nice little pretty flower one. Why? Because it's better and it doesn't come off my face. That's unreal. It's like a tube. It's unreal. But preferably, like for my bandanas, I wear these type. I put them on my fucking head. I wear them on my head so that people can't pretty much I look like that most of the fucking time. People can't see the shit. But during the crisis, if I have to... Well, it's going to be washed up with this, by the way. If I have to wear this, I'll be fucking wearing this. I don't care what people fucking say. Well, this is there to protect me. Why? And see, at the moment, I'm using these ones to hold that on because, as I said, I have to get my beard down. That's the only reason I started it and realised these were good. Because when I put this on and the mask on, I realised I can hardly fucking breathe. This is actually tougher to breathe through. The holes are better, more or less perforated than this fucking thing, even though this looks better. But it's only a basic form of protection. It's Unfortunately, it's not as good as this. This is better. This is an N97 mask. This is an asbestos mask. Unfortunately, don't order them from China. Because that's if you order them online, that's where they're coming from, is China. Where's the virus coming from? China. And as I said, we need to shut our borders, folks. We really truly need to shut our borders. We need to we need to stop these assholes in the government. And if your governments are pulling stupid things where they're not doing anything, find out what your constitution says to remove them. Use your constitution because in, I guarantee you it's in every single one. Because they make sure it's in every single one just in case they want to take over from the other mob. They've done it once here in Australia. So the mechanism is there, it can be done. And sorry, I'm just going to read the chat for a moment. Um. <laughs> yep, actually, I've just had a really, really good suggestion. Everybody's going to have a laugh because this video is not for kids, really. It's only if you show them that little bit. Someone just said you could even use a G-string. You want to know something? Wouldn't work. I don't, I don't think... Oh, actually, hang on. No, you can put it over your head. Have it come down. Because they've got a bit of padding too, and I just got to mimic a G string. Yeah. Good suggestion, by the way. It's a funny one, but it's a good suggestion. Hang on. Is that G stringing? No, that's not G stringing. That's not even G stringing. In desperation, I don't think it would work. <laughs> but it's a funny idea. But see, anything can be converted into a mask. It really can be, folks. Anything can be converted into a mask. But as I said, if you're in Australia and you've got these bandanas or they're in your countries and everything like that. Now, I'm also going to quickly address the gangs of America. If you see someone with an opposite colour mask, well, say if you're wearing blue and the other team is red, or you're red and they're blue, but you've got to think about the poor people out in the world that are going to have to wear a mask. You're going to have to stop that bullshit right now because there's going to be a lot of people wearing your colours, which are not your colours, by the way. They belong to every fucking body. And because they're going to be worn over the globe. Your, your bandanas are now going to have to go out the fucking door. They're no good anymore because everybody needs these things for masks. So, yeah, throw that fucking childish shit out of the way. But, um, yeah, you've just got to turn around and you can make it out of anything. You can make it out of a bed sheet. You can make it out of your green screen in desperation. <laughs> don't, cut that. don't cut that up unless it's really necessary. That's too expensive. 
but that, that's, that's all it is, folks. It's a piece of fucking square material. That's all a bandana is. That one is 50 by 50. It, I can just wear it. I've got a big head. That's not stretchy, and it still ties up. You'll work out with the material, test the material, make more, work out the size. You might not need as big ones for your kids as you do. Wash them daily. Hand wash them if you fucking have to. I actually have to do all my washing by hand at the moment. But hand wash them. Bleach them if you fucking have to. Um, but at least double over. It's a basic protection compared to no protection. If you want better protection, wear two. You go one. Sorry, it takes a little bit to do this up. Look at hair. I've got longer hair now, so. I haven't had that haircut in weeks, so my hair's grown. I can't find the uh, razor, that's why I grew in the first place, because can't find the razor. So if you want better protection, you just put two fucking masks on. That's all it is. It's that fucking simple. You are now protected. And as I said to those idiot gangs out there that wear black or wear red, oh, they're our colours, man, you can't fucking wear them. You guys are going to have to put that shit up your ass right fucking now. Because you're going to have fucking people all over the fucking globe needing to wear masks and you can't go shooting fucking people for wearing a colour that they need to wear their safe their fucking life. Wake up to your fucking selves. Life goes on. And guess what? Toughness disappears. You get old. Wake up to your fucking selves. You're going to need it. It could be your nana that's walking down the street with the colours. So you guys got to make a truce over the fucking colours. Someone said to me, well, what about the poor people in America? And that was the, what made me think of it. Because, yeah, these guys wear colours over there. You've got to turn around and um, just ask yourselves. Yeah, but it's basic protection. Yes, that's what an N97 is. This is as a thin layer in certain areas of the carbon. It's got a, it allows it to go through a filter. Anything goes out, goes through a filter. So yeah, I've got the carbon built where they help me. But it's, mine's a two-way, 90 N97 is two-way. It stops them from getting it, stops you from giving it. No, I'm sorry, it stops you from giving it, it stops yeah, you from giving it and you getting it. So yes, you've just got to think about it, folks. The, everybody out there is whinging. And as I said with the schools, for God's sake, use Uber Conference. It works. Uber Conference is so easy. It truly takes five minutes to set up. They can have classrooms operating before the kids even know it. So if you are out there and you feel like government is not doing their job, please write to the Attorney General's office and tell them so. Say that this government needs to be removed, they are not doing their job, they are putting our lives in danger. And put that on the page. Say our lives are in danger and this government is not doing anything. And don't worry, I'm sending a link to this video to the government. They know that I, t I promised them I'd start this process today. I wasn't lying. I'm dead fucking serious. If they do not act and have our mail quarantined as of today, and have our cool kids removed from school and operating in classrooms on either conference or something similar, we should remove this government because we need to protect everybody. Because you've got to remember, it's the contact between the kids that they have. There's more chance of us getting it because of the way they communicate. They are touchy-feely. Even at 15, 16, they are still touchy-feely. They grab their mates, get out mate, give them a cuddle, a joke, they're touchy-feely. Even adults are going to have to start making these allowances. Because if we don't make these allowances, we're all going to die. Trust me, I don't intend to die. I didn't fight, fight for my life last year for nothing. I got through what I got through. And I'm not going to let this fucking virus take me out, but I'm not going to let some stupid Chinese person over in China say the product, oh, it's safe over here, nothing, nothing wrong, and lie to me saying he's in Australia, and the item's coming from Australia, which is what they're doing. These people need to be charged if this happens. 
there needs to be laws made to stop these people doing this. And anybody selling online should now have to state items current location, where that item is coming from. Everybody should do it. If you buy anything from me, I buy from Teespring or I buy from Redbubble, go to their website, see where their t-shirts come when you order it. I mean, you just check where they're coming from. Are they being manufactured in China or are they being manufactured in America? Ask them where they're being manufactured. So I'm saying even don't buy my merch until you know, until you've checked from Teespring where the items are coming from. Because I'm online here, like you can find my link in other videos for the red bubble stuff. But yeah, I've got a sacrifice. I don't care if I've got a sacrifice because I don't want the world dying. So what we have been putting up with our governments for far too long. The shit that our governments have put us through is a fucking joke. And it needs to be stopped. Because at the moment, our lives are in high danger. Our children's lives are in high danger. Our parents' lives are in high danger. If we don't do anything about it, we're all going to die. All of us. This has got a mortality rate beyond anything we've seen. It just hasn't kicked in yet. It's doubling day by day. It's spread so fast. In Australia, our, our numbers have increased. In all the other countries, they're just rising and rising and rising. They're doubling day by day. And this is why we need the isolation. And I'm appealing to you in every country, spread this all over the globe. Please, copy this video, spread it. Let people see that we need to take these steps. If you are in a country where they don't speak English, please translate this video for me. Word for word, it would be very much greatly appreciated. We need to do this as a people. As a people, we need to protect ourselves. If we do not protect ourselves, we're all gonna die. So many people are dying in nursing homes now. People are dropping like flies in the streets of China. It's now happening in Italy. It's now happening in other countries. It's gonna happen and it's gonna get worse unless we take the precautions. And one of those precautions is for Australia, if this government doesn't get their act together and start protecting our borders properly and protecting its citizens properly, I call for their removal. I'm calling for every Australian to write to the Australian Attorney General and to write to the Queen to request the removal of this useless, absolutely useless government. Thank you very much. This is Anthony Avery approving this message and signing off. And cannabis legalisation should happen now. Thank you. And those of you that haven't subscribed, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Now see that little thing down the bottom of the screen? Don't forget to click that so you get notified because if you don't click that, you'll never get notified about my videos. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go to the Cannabis Protester website and go to the Vote for, With Your Like video and put a like if you want cannabis, uh, cannabis legalization all over the world. And if you want and uh, against it, please vote no. So it's up to you whether you vote and the video is not finished the stream's not finished folks i just wanted to add a few more things to it but don't forget this stream is proudly brought to you by the uh, website sorry what is zs.com sorry read the wrong line and um, we need to actually truly do something about this folks if we don't do something about this we are going to die. This virus has the potential to kill us all. And if we don't do something about it, yeah. And I, I've never been more serious about removing a government because this government, I truly think, are trying to kill us. I truly, truly think that, folks. Because why aren't they actually going and doing something? We need a government that is going to do something and going to do something now. And yes, I've got my company name, and my product name up there. While I do this, I don't care. I truly don't care. Because this is vitally important. And that's what I wanted to get up on the screen. So you guys can read the chat. There you go. 
and I had to make that correction in the video because I felt, oh shit, I actually said, I realised I said uh, Australia when I was replaying the video. So I'm making this correction. The old version of the video will be removed. The original stream will be removed. Now, okay, now, Este Brian um, is the, the a section. Okay, I don't know what you mean about is the a section. Um... Um, I don't wipe. Get some fucking newspaper. I don't know what people are panicking about dunny paper, for fuck's sake. Anything can be used. An old receipt can be used to wipe your ass. Just make sure you have a wash afterwards. It's real easy. There's plenty of items. Tissues can be used. I don't know what fucking people are going... That's the one thing that gets me. Why they're rushing over dunny paper. For fuck's sake. I'm a bushy. I've used leaves. Yep, I've used leaves. Stop panicking, okay? And Woolworths, stop this fucking idiotic system that you got. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Agenda 21. Sorry. Yes. Agenda 21. Just type it in and research it. You're going to get a big shock. Um, the whole thing is we've actually got to get out there and do this for ourselves, everybody. If we don't do this for ourselves, we're going to die. I don't want any of my subscribers to die. I don't want any of my viewers to die. I don't want a single person to die on the face of this planet. And I'm sorry I don't have the webcam on because I put it away for a little while and forgot that I was re... and didn't realise I had to re-upstream. So, but the thing is... I'm not hiding from anybody. I'm not hiding from my government. My government knows I will stand up for what I believe. And I always do. But this time I've got a good tool. It's called the internet. It's a fucking brilliant tool. And it's great for talking to the government. When they don't listen to you, make sure you always send them. If you're lobbying the government, you just made a video about it, make sure you send it to them. I promised them yesterday, if they didn't do this by this morning, I would do exactly what I'm doing now. I really, truly believe we've got to get rid of these assholes. And I've told the Labor Party that they need to be ready for when I can get the Attorney General. If enough of you write to the Attorney General and enough of you write to the Queen, they will remove this government. They may even remove it just if one person says and brings it to their attention. But it's better if the more of you write to... The more of you that write to the Attorney General and tell them we need to remove these fucking idiots, the more chance we have of removing them. And trust me, even one man can still make a difference. It just means I've got to lobby harder. What I'm doing to you now is lobbying. I'm lobbying to you. And I'm asking you to stand up. I don't, I don't care whether you're 18 or 80. When you're 80, you're still 18. Yeah, and if you're young blokes, yeah, us oldies, Mate, we haven't changed a single bit. We still want to do all the shit that we did when we were young. It's just you've got to wait a little bit because we're just a bit fucking slower. But the whole point is, folks, we need to stop the virus. I'm very serious about it. And no matter how many times I go through the calculations and through the web pages and all the different time periods, it comes to 40 days as the safest period. You're allowing a 10% safety range on that we can make it longer there's not a problem but the whole world needs to go into quarantine the whole world needs 40 days 40 nights no word of a lie we need 40 days 40 nights to save our own lives it's not the government i am not the government i'm just a person out here that knows we need this i don't know whether god put that idea in my head I don't know where I got the idea. Because I'm sitting down and calculating the figures. It actually only came to four weeks. And then I thought, shit, okay, maybe we need a bit more time. Add a bit more. Think about all the things. So I added time to that, added time to that. And then at the end, when it were added together, I added time to that. And it came for 40 days. We need to quarantine. We need to quarantine the whole world. If you speak another language, can you please translate this into 
the other language and put it into your countries and get the message out. We need to quarantine for 40 days and for 40 nights. We need to build a new ark. And that ark will protect mankind. Maybe this is God giving us a chance to survive something. And maybe he is sorting the wheat from the chaff. But if we don't prepare, we're going to be the, the ones that didn't prepare our lampstands and we miss out. God always said, he's going to knock at the door. Many will be chosen, but very few find the way. Maybe more of us need to find that way. God, maybe, maybe I just thought of this idea myself. I don't know. But it just came to 40. Sounded biblical. I need to get the message out there. We need to quarantine worldwide. This needs to be a worldwide quarantine. Pass this video on to your governments. They all speak English or have someone that can translate it. Make sure your governments get a hold of this video. Yes, I plan to remove my government if they do not close the borders to the mail. And China, you need to actually arrest these eBay sellers that are bullshitting and committing fraud. They're committing crimes. They're the ones you should be dragging out because they're committing crimes and putting people's lives at risk. And we can do this, people of the world. Now, I'm appealing to every man, woman, and child if, they're, if their parents are letting them listen to this video. We need to close the world. We need to put a big quarantine sign around the world. I would, I reckon maybe even NASA should put a message up on the shuttle and send a message out that Earth has been quarantined. Just to protect, oh, I believe that UFOs happen all the time. Anybody that doesn't believe in UFOs these days is a fucking idiot. But the whole point is, maybe we should even go to that length because they visit our planet more often than you know. So maybe we should just warn them. That's just a little suggestion from me. But the whole thing is, we need to quarantine us. We need to be quarantined. We can stop the virus, we can stop the spread. That's what we have to do. We must stop the spread of this virus. If we don't stop the spread of this virus, it's going to keep on going. And if we don't do it in every country at the same time, we don't go any near where near these isolated tribes, nowhere near any, any of these like tribes that don't want anything to do with mankind, but we do put up a border to stop and put a warning sign, so get someone to translate a warning sign saying quarantined from them. Find out what their, the way of saying quarantine, tell them that we're quarantined from them protect them we need to quarantine everybody the isolated communities need to stay isolated from this moment make sure they get food make sure the people sending them food are checked and their health is checked make sure they handle the food and anything they handle with gloves we need to take massive precautions to stop this virus people and I mean we need to take extremely yeah, outlandish. Never before dreamed of. This is not the government taking over, folks. And if they try, well, then we stand up against them. This is us calling for them to actually do their fucking job. What we ask them to fucking do. We want to be protected. Trump is now starting to act like a president. The Australian government is fucking acting nothing like a government. They're just taking this like a grain of fucking salt. And that is fucking wrong. And I truly believe that the Australian Liberal Party should be removed. And we have to might have to put Labor back in for a little while. Until a new election. But let's just say never vote fucking Liberal again. Never vote for any one of those Liberal assholes again. They are currently endangering our fucking lives. And we want to be protected. I want to be protected and I don't want anybody else to have to go to a funeral. I love you all. If you are a subscriber, I love you all. You're my best friends. Thank you for your patronage, just in case something does happen to me. I'm saying it now because I know my immune system's shot to shit 
and I've got a package possibly coming from China. So I'm saying goodbye just in case. And those of you out there that believe that eBay needs tougher laws on people that are falsifying the location of the items and then drop shipping from China should be charged in every single country. Governments need to state big stands. Any company not declaring where their products are sent from. If they are sending them from China, they should be listing China as their original location. These steps need to be taken for our own protection. For our own protection. Fuck the government's protection, for our protection. The government has in Australia has let its people down. I'm the first one to stand up. I'm asking all of you to stand up. Not go out and protest in massive groups. Just write two simple letters. One to the Queen, one to the Australian Attorney General. That's all you have to do. Don't have to do anything else. Just write a letter. Write two letters. And seriously, the Queen's address can be obtained. The Attorney General's address can be obtained. You write it to Her Majesty the Queen. You write it to the Attorney General. You find their name. You place their name. Learn how to format a formal federal letter. Always... Oh, sorry, that's my message. Always format the letter in the correct way. When talking to their staff, please be extremely courteous. These are some of the nicest people I have ever met in my life. Because I talk to them so often. I, if I'm on a subject, well, this time it's the Minister of Health that I'm badgering. That's the one I need to badger. That's the one I want on my show. But I treat his staff with ample respect. And we are going to need to communicate with our governments. Because we want this message to get out that we need a 40-day quarantine. Please go to your governments and tell them we need a 40-day worldwide quarantine. Please translate this into China. Stop dragging your fucking people out of their homes respect their dignity the videos that I have seen coming out of China about how you are treating its citizens you should be held for crimes at the end of this we should have a special tribunal for governments that don't fucking act sensibly and are treating their people like cattle should be charged like we had when we had World War II and the Hague these are similar to war crimes and they should be arrested for them at the end of it. I'm asking every government to act fucking sensibly. We need to lock down and it can be locked down very, very easily. All we have to do is allow people to get their 40 days worth of food. Maybe you need to quickly rush out a 40-day ration book for every man, woman, and fucking child on the face of this earth. Make sure they get these books. Make sure they're able to take them to a centre and get ample food. Give them a choice between which vegetables they want, but give them, okay, this person will need this amount of thing. Consult doctors. Work this shit out. So that we can, everybody can collect their 40 days of food and not go through the shit that I had to went, go through the other day just to get some groceries. Two cans of fucking food. Stop the fucking supermarkets doing this bullshit. But make sure that you set up some kind of system to make sure everybody has enough food for 40 days. You are going to have to have backup food for further 40 days for everybody just in case, because we still don't know the exact lifespan. But I truly, calculating the figures that I have read and seen on the WHO and the CDC, we can do this, Earth. We really can. This is the biggest thing that mankind has ever done. Maybe it is time mankind started working together instead of fucking fighting. The fighting has got to stop. Mankind needs to work together. Mankind will go nowhere if they don't start working together. I'm not just talking this country, that country. I'm even talking about that idiot fucking Kim Jong-un. 
Yes, I think you're an idiot, Kim Jong-un. I think that's how exactly how I pronounce your name. I do think you are an idiot. You're a childish idiot that took over a country. You are not God. You think you are, sir. You think you're God. You are not. You're just a boy. You're a childish boy. And it's about time your government went dem democratic. I'm sorry, but I truly think your people deserve a democratic government after fucking having your grandfather, your father, and you. You are the worst, and I mean you are the worst, example of humanity that I have ever seen. The worst example. And dead set, you should be held for war crimes when this is all over because we need to protect our people and every person on the face of this planet needs to be respected, honoured and looked after during this crisis. We have the means of communication to keep everybody connected. The government is going to have to make a law to make sure that the internet lines stay open. The government is going to have to make sure that everybody has an internet connection. And they can make it a law. Yes, the, the phone companies during the crisis are going to have to wear that period of time on anybody. So fucking what? They're going to have to make sure that their employees are working. And maybe the government should help them pay for those employees during the crisis. We need our water systems going. We need everything. We need our electricity going. These people need to still work. Our food. Yes, you may be able to put some of the out-of-work people that are lining up at Centrelink into work in these food centres. You need to start setting food centres up now. This is, I wanted to add this bit to the video because I never thought of this bit in the last. We need to add food centres ready for a quarantine. And you need to set up the system that I have just told you about. A 40-day ration for every person. Find out how many animals each person have. I.e. I have eight dogs, three chooks and four more on the way because I'm hoping to be able to feed myself. You're going to have to make sure the animals are fed as well. Don't, oh yeah, and I've got fish. That's the the noises everybody hears in the background all the time. You're going to have to make sure everybody, you're going to have to have a questionnaire and you're gonna to have to, okay, fill it out. This is how how I live, this is where I live, this is what I need, this is not what I need, right? Because we're gonna let them work it out with doctors what the average human intake of food is. They've got a better idea and they know. They know how people get fat, families eat, Every some people, yeah, we've got fatter families. Yes, and guess what? Fatties, I'm a fatty. You need to start losing weight. And you're going to start losing weight because this is going to be hard on all of us. You're not going to have the luxuries. And guess what? You're lucky. You've actually got all that fat to live off. You can actually live off that fat. That's what I've been doing. I have eaten two muesli bars in the last three days. I don't need it because I know how long I can go without food. I'm drinking water. This is going to help you lose weight. And yes, we're fat, we're obese, we're overweight. You have to admit it yourself. So, yeah, think about that. You're going to be luckier than some because you actually already got what you need to help you survive through a massive crisis. But you also endangered your own life because now you are, the rest of your system is fucking failing like mine. So, yeah... You've got to think about things like that. And the government has got to make sure that everybody gets an equal share. Everybody gets fed. Everybody has enough food to get them through. Get your experts working right now. Because we're going to have to do this very soon before this explodes. You know the current steps aren't working. This will work. At least this way we already have everybody in quarantine. You will start getting notified. You will have to make your mobile, your team's fucking mobile in a way. They're going to have to be such sterile units so people can come in and out. They're going to have to be cleaner than an ambulance has ever been cleaned before. And they're going to have to be cleaned after every patient. You're going to have to think all of this shit because 
It's going to happen soon. I can see it coming. I think everybody can see this coming. I've never been more scared in my life. And trust me, I'm a rough, tough bastard. Not as scared of a government. Not scared of anybody. And I will stand up for myself every single time. And I will make sure... And by the way, I breed really good watchdogs. Those dogs you're listening to are the pups. They're good. They see someone walking, they think they're coming near the property. Those dogs go off. I've got four for sale, by the way. And um, I train good watchdogs. Not blighters, they're watchdogs. But they'll scare the shit out of anybody. <laughs> it's the way I train them. All my dogs are trained that way. <laughs> I reckon at the moment, I think I'm lucky I've got that many dogs. But I do still need to sell the bit little buggers, and I am trying to sell them. And they're great dogs. They've got loving personalities. They all love belly rubs. But i um, got this one that's got a real curly tail. It's out of all my pups. None of my other pups have ever had a curly tail. Sorry about that. A little bit of distraction because I just want to get a plug in about my good dogs. I breed them, by the way. I designed the breed. But the thing is, we need to turn around and do something now. We need to quarantine our government. Sorry. Yeah, maybe we do need to quarantine our government. Sorry, I've, uh, my medicine has just finally kicked in. I'm on eight drops at the moment. So, yeah, that was my medicine kicking in. Like the sudden body just going, okay, cool. I'm now actually pain-free. Not a drop of pain in my body, folks. I really don't believe that this should be legalised really, really quick. It can't kill you. You don't go idiot. You don't try and kill people. You don't try and punch people. Um, yeah, should be recreational. And the alcohol's the one we should be prohibiting. But no, don't prohibit um, prohibition that. I need to actually make my own alcohol. Um, I clean a lot of shit with mine. But no, there's a lot of things that we do need to do. But when it comes to getting this done, we do need a global, global effort. And yes, I might drift off every now and then at the moment because the medicine actually has kicked in um, but yes we do need to do something about it we need to close our borders and we need to close our borders down now properly every country needs to at least close their borders no mail in no mail out that we need to shut down for a little while if it does get sent as an emergency you say maybe the government needs something or something like that maybe certain conditions can be done to get it done there's ways to do everything no you can't go out and if we do anything it needs to be done as a world organization and emmy knows that she's been listened to on the <laughs> and um, everybody knows that we do need to do this folks and we truly need to do this if we don't we could all die Thank you very much for watching and I do appreciate all your support and um, you've been great. As I said, the reason why I said goodbye before because if this idiot does sell me, send me this package and I die, yeah, I wanted to say thank you to all of you. Okay, and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see that little guy down the bottom moving the mouse. He just clicked the little bell so he can get notified. So if you are out there and everything, yes, little message from my sponsor. This video is proudly brought to you by whatiszs.com. ZS is coming soon after the coronavirus. Thank you.